Dr. Alex Langbill, Riley Barnhill, Gun Dog Outdoors, and we're going to continue our series on how to treat your dog for injuries that could happen in the field using our first aid kit. Um, first of all, I want to make sure that you guys go through the first aid kit, know what's in there. You don't want to learn when you're dealing with an emergency, especially if it's a significant one. Um, go through it. There's a nice little reference guide in there that you kind of walks you through any kind of injury that could happen to your dog. So today what we're going to do is we're going to cover sprain strains and broken bones. We've all seen it where your dog come back kind of limping. First thing you want to do is you want to identify um, where the injury is. I'm going to feel for the injury, feel for any deformities, feel for any tenderness, any, anything still looking for any bone that could be possibly sticking out or anything like that. You can tell immediately because the dog will pull away once you get to that tender part. So if it's as simple as a sprain or strain to where it's just torn a, a, a muscle or a ligament, something like that, um, that just takes time, but you do want to kind of secure it and prevent it from moving around. So what we use for that is we're going to just use the self-adhesive bandage roll. It sticks to itself. It's vet wrap. In the EMS field, it's, we call it a self-adhesive bandage. If you take it and you just wrap it around the dog, just like this, you go around it, wrap it around the injury, keeping that muscle kind of tight up against the leg. And then I highly recommend you go to the vet and kind of just talk to them and tell them what happened. Now, if it's something more severe, say a, a broken bone, because you can feel the deformity, that's something you want to address right there. And especially if it's a compound fracture. Compound fracture is when a bone is actually broken in two pieces or an open fracture, where it's actually the bone is sticking out of the leg itself. If that's the case, first of all, you never want to push the bone back in because those bones are really sharp and if you were to put it back in, you could cut a, a vessel or an artery and cause a whole lot of problems. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to stabilize that injury. So we have everything in here and you have everything in the field for a splint. All you need to do is just get yourself a little stick, a small one just like this, um, and it'll work great. You just size, you're going to size it up and use it for the dog. So what we do is right now, and it helps when you got two people. So um, Riley's going to sit here and he's just going to secure the leg from moving around. And we're going to say it's broken right at this joint right here in between. You're going to take a stick that fits right there. This one's a little bit long, so I'm just going to break it. You can use two things on this to secure the injury. We have this gauze bandage roll right here that you can use, certainly, and I, but I recommend this vet wrap. So what I'm going to do, if it is an open wound, use a 4x4 four four pad, put it over there, um, and then wrap it up. But if it isn't an open wound, I simply just hold the stick in between, and you're just going to start on one end, and you're going to wrap all the way up and then all the way back down, securing where you think the break is. And if the dog, if it's on, say, an, a knuckle or, a, or a, a joint right there, you want to secure up above and below the joints. And I'm just securing it, making it to where the leg can't move. Real simple. Let's come around just like that. And you can see it's already pretty rigid. Just, so I can tear it. It sticks to itself. I don't need to use tape or anything like that. And you're good to go. So at this point, you want to carry the dog. You do not want it to walk. Carry it to the boat or the, or the truck or wherever your, your tra mode of transportation is, and then I, and go to a vet as soon as you can. We got everything that you need to do that in this kit, um, and also some um, quick reference guides to actually help you get through this. So again, keep calm. Any injury that happens to a dog, um, if you are freaking out over it or if your hunting partners are, it, it does not help the situation. Keep calm, keep the dog calm, and uh, go get, get it taken care of. Thanks for tuning in, and check us out at gundogoutdoors.com where you can see the, our first aid kit along with a bunch of other safety products that we carry. Thank you.